Robert Reed from Lonely Planet. I'm making a series of travel videos about Canadian cities. That's why I've come to Vancouver, to talk with locals about what makes Vancouver, Vancouver. It's a changing city. Some call it the city of glass because of its new skyline. During the 2010 Olympics, over two billion people watched the city. No place in Canada has been seen as much. But I want to know what locals think. There's nowhere where you can get, I think, the amount of city that Vancouver has, along with the amount of outdoors that they have, and combine them together. You know, all kinds of, you know, all kinds of street vendors everywhere, right? Vancouver is a big foodie destination. There's dozens of new types of street food, invented things like bulgogi tacos, live prawns cooked before your eyes. But my favorite, probably, is the Japa dog. Japa dog is a, it's a Japanese hot dog. I think by combining hot dogs with Japanese food, it makes it a bit healthier. The most popular one right now is the uh, Kurobuta Cherry Mayo. It's a highly priced pork in Japan. We put the uh, kiriaki sauce, the Japanese mayo, and some seaweed on top, which makes it really unique. It's really good. You gotta try it. Never seen anything like that. This is a hot dog. That is seriously my favorite hot dog. Thanks so much. And once you get street food, where do you go? Stanley Park. It's built for picnics. Lord Stanley, the guy behind the Stanley Cup. It's just an outdoor paradise. You have hiking trails going through the rainforest. You can go along the water by bike or by walking. There's a totem pole collection to see. Plus, everyone is active in Vancouver. In fact, I met a 92-year-old track and field star. I do five throws, shaput, discus, javelin, hammer, weight. Can you teach me to do something on track and field? What would you recommend I learn? Release it on this finger. Oh my. This is sort of the, the master of, of the action. Yeah, you better watch out. Very good. <laughs> A great way to see Vancouver is not just looking out over the water, but from the water. Some people go by kayak. I'm gonna go by ferry. Yeah, cycle five's uh, outbound from uh, Granville Island. What's the big ball? That's another legacy of Expo 86. Some hands-on science uh, museums. And inside the dome, they've got um, the movie theater. They project on the, on the inside of the dome. For a complete escape from the city, the great thing about Vancouver is you only have to go 15 minutes and you're in the middle of the rainforest. 800,000 people a year go to Capilano Suspension Bridge, but it's great coming here to Lynn Canyon. You can have the place pretty much to yourself. It's free, and it's a lot more shaky. It's scarier. When you're walking, you don't feel like it's moving much until you stop to take a picture and you feel everybody else moving. Man, that is scary. So what makes Vancouver Vancouver in the end? Well, if you follow local advice and you're throwing a discus or eating a hot dog or walking over a canyon, you've got to go outside to find out.